Sem and Tem Sem, Sem involves shooting an electron beam at a specimen and observing the reactions on the specimen surface. When the electron hits a molecule on the surface, its energy is absorbed by the molecule, which in turn emits a lower amount of energy. This energy can be in the form of a secondary, less energetic electron, a photon of light, or X-rays. Differentiation between these emissions is used to produce image contrast. However, in order to produce a coherent image, the sample must often be prepared with a conductive coating or by embedding a resin for many biological samples. TEM, TEM acts much like a typical bright field microscope in the sense that it sends electrons through a specimen. As it propagates through the specimen, some of the electrons are scattered and some are transmitted. The transmitted electrons is passed through an objective lens and then projected onto a scintillating material which can then be recorded photographically. This requires samples to be prepared in very thin slices in order to allow transmission of the electrons through transparent sections. Or ASEM, scanning electron microscope, images using the electrons reflected from a specimen. ATEM, transmission electron microscope, images using the electrons that pass through it. The image from an SEM thus looks somewhat like a normal photo, we're used to imaging using the light reflected from objects. However, a TEM image takes a bit more interpretation. As we're not used to seeing images of light that's passed through things, think of silhouettes or slide projectors.